Okay, I'm Mary Stein. I'm uh, with Montana State University in Bozeman, Montana. And I came here with a wonderful team that I'm actually I'm going to introduce you to further along in my presentation because they're really what's happening in, in Montana right now as far as farm to school goes. Here's Montana. We are a place where it's vast, but it's a very small community. In fact, it's pretty amazing how you get to know folks who are working on farm to school in this state that is 145,000 square miles, but you pretty much know in a, after a short time working in farm to school who's doing what around the state because it is a small town. Um, several uh, good things that are happening in Montana. Our governor is a farmer. Our Senator John Tester is a farmer. So we've, we're getting great support in the state and I will talk a little bit more about that in a bit. Our median household income you can see is $38,000. It's pretty low. There was an article, I don't know if anybody saw it, in The Economist in uh, December of 2005 that referred to the New American Ghetto. Basically, they're talking about the eastern flank of the Rocky Mountains, eastern Montana, uh, western North Dakota. Both the 20th, 20th poorest counties in America are on the eastern flank of the uh, Rockies. So there's, in, of course, that's all agricultural communities out there. So they're really hurting from the current food system that we have in our country right now. School districts. We have a lot of school districts. If, I don't know if you could compare it relative to what some of the other folks have talked about here, but for a small population, we've got 433 school districts, but only a student population of 144,000. We have a lot of very tiny school districts where they have one room, still one room schoolhouses in some of these really small rural communities that are serving perhaps 20 kids in the district. So, um, and those are starting to disappear more and more as consolidation takes place, but there is quite a bit of that. Where's my graphic? There it is. Where's our food coming from? This is just to give you a little bit of history and how we've done in Montana in terms of providing food for our, our population. In the 1900s to the 1950s, we did quite well. About 70% of the food that Montanans ate was produced in Montana. But since then, we haven't done as well. We're down to about 10% of the food that Montanans eat being produced in Montana. And I know uh, there is a perception, of course, that Montana being a very cold and snowy state, that uh, we cannot produce much food. But the truth of the matter is, is that we can. We don't have the growing season, of course, that California has, but we are able to produce quite a bit of food in Montana, and we're just not feeding it to our own. And I do want to mention, too, that there was this one comment that a colleague of mine made, and uh, when uh, uh, Marty from Hawaii was speaking, it reminded me of it. Uh, when she talked about the after 9-11 with the shipping issue and the food not getting to Hawaii, this colleague continually says, Montana is one trucker strike away from being food insecure. And that's absolutely true. We're isolated. We're, we're relatively far from any large urban center. Um, and distribution to Montana is a very big issue. So really working on our local food system and our regional food system, and I'm so excited to be here for regional purposes as well, is very important to the state of Montana. Um, what do we know? There was a wonderful study that I w was done by an organization called Grow Montana, which I will, will mention multiple times. It's just a terrific coalition in Montana that's working on local food system, system issues and policy, farm to school and farm to college being two of the core areas that are very, uh, they're very hard at work at. But they did an institutional food study a couple of years ago, um, and they found that K-12 schools in Montana spend at least $19 million annually on food and that they're lar the largest component of food expenditures among Montana public institutions. This, by the way, is available on the Grow Montana website. You can Google Grow Montana. You can get the full report of this institutional food study or the executive summary if you want some lighter reading. Um, the uh, K-12 schools represent the greatest long-term potential for growth in the use of Montana-produced food. Okay. Oh. My lines didn't come out, but I'm going to show you where they would be if they were on there. This is a spoke. Every one of these. Okay, you got it? You can visualize the wheel. Okay, this is uh, farm to school is part of a bigger movement in Montana. Um, two years ago, we had a, a governor's summit on food and agriculture in Montana. And this was really the jumping off point for a lot of folks in the state who are working on local food issues. Um, Basically, the Governor Schweitzer um, uh, supported this summit that we were going to, it was centered around looking at where food security 
and food production have um, some synergy and some overlap in the state. And so we kind of referred to it as hunger reduction food production. And that was really what this summit was all about. Um, out of this, the primary recommendation was that a Montana Food System Council be formed to explore four core areas. That was food processing and production infrastructure, research, outreach, education, and curriculum around food system work, uh, farm viability and land use. We have a lot of uh, the small urban areas in the state that are being overtaken. The agricultural land is disappearing really fast. And then the rural areas that have different struggles. Um, and the final one, uh, help me, Chrissy. Food security, oh my gosh, right, of course. Food security was the fourth area that we really have a core um, working group working on. So anyway, so we got this food system council formed. The governor, it's not a council under the governor's office. It's a, it's a citizen-based grassroots council. However, what the governor did do after this summit was that he had a memorandum of understanding signed by the directors of five different state agencies in the state of Montana, basically saying that they're going to be working together around the Montana Food for Montanans issues and initiatives. So this is our Department of Labor, Department of Commerce, Department of Health and Human Services, Department of Agriculture, and Department of Corrections, and that's because we have a cannery at the prison, um, are all working together around this issue. We also have folks from the Office of Public Instruction, the Department of Livestock. So basically there's incredible support at the state level right now for work on food system issues and farm to school issues in Montana.